And it's happening. And we're doing this. I couldn't, I couldn't do the sugar mama thing. <laughs> we're live. Yes. Oh, <laughs> he's just saying that for, he's just assuming his wife's watching right now. Uh, I, really, I, I couldn't do it. Like, I'd get bored. Yeah. No. I know that's a dream for that's, many. That's not a permanent situation. A, a dream for many, not lived by much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Welcome in. I'm glad we're staying on topic for you today. Uh, hey, here's welcome a... Welcome uh, to Loveline yeah. <laughs> with Ryan here's and KJ. Here's uh, a cool thing that's happening. Okay. Just one? Gun Talk has all new merchandise. Like this... <laughs> Yeah, this is brand new. I got it in a couple of days ago. I was super excited about it. Uh, well built. Um, and they actually we had, we have a design that's actually kind of the 3D, the letters that will stand out. We have craftsmen stitching yeah. everything on these hats yeah. together. But super cool. Um, but, yeah, go to uh, guntalk.com backslash shop. And it'll take you to all our new merchandise. We've got some cool hoodies and some sweatshirts and some funny uh, shirts. Yeah, all kinds some of stuff. good shirts. All right, cool. Well, welcome in. We're gonna go ahead and get this thing started. I think uh, we are ready. Class is in session. All right, welcome to Gun Talk Live. This Gun Talk Live is brought to you by ATN Optics. ATN Optics. They make thermal. They make night vision. They make handheld stuff. They make weapon mounted yep. stuff. So if you're thinking about doing some night hunting, but also day hunting. Well, uh, also just capturing the hunt. Capturing the hunt, video through your, your scope, mm -hmm. um, or it could be a handheld deal. It's a game changer. Yeah. And honestly, this is the time of year when a lot of the southern states are kind of ramping up the hog hunting stuff. Yeah. Deer season's over, and depending on where you are, uh, that's available. So if you've never hunted hogs at night, it's one of the most fun things you can do standing up. Um, so, I, <laughs> very funny. Uh, I will have, you know what? So my next door neighbor was going hog hunting and he did not have a thermal. Okay. And we just happened to have, I had a handheld that I was like, okay, you know, you can take that. Well, one night he sends me a picture at like, I think it was at like two o'clock in the morning or right. something like that. He goes, I'm sorry, I got blood on your thermal. This stuff's amazing. <laughs> and it was an ATN, awesome. OTS, HD. So, yeah, we appreciate ATN's support. Also, our March giveaway. Um, you guys are going to want to tune into this one. <laughs> it's uh, go over to guntalk.com slash win. Pot of prizes giveaway. 26 prizes up for grabs, okay? Um, most importantly, there's ammo in this, okay? Six prizes from Ammo Inc., a case of streak 9mm ammo. Uh, 200 case. rounds. That's worth an entry. Six just cases. Right there. Yeah, 200 rounds a case. Um, five prizes from Galco. S five prizes from Mantis. Training stuff. Save on ammo. Um, five prizes from Timney Triggers. Four prizes from Safari Land. And you can also win the Walther PDP Performance Duty Pistol. Isn't that the new one? That's the new one. Yeah. So go over to guntalk.com slash win and enter because someone's gonna win this stuff. Oh, yeah. Might as well Absolutely. be you. Absolutely. Uh, so for our giveaway this week, we were giving away a mag skin. So uh, Kevin Schoenthal, Schoenhalls, you won it for what do you guys think of the Olight Weapon Series lights? I have several and like them. Well, I we, we got no problem. Olight? Olight. They make some neat stuff. Yeah. They yeah. do. We're actually we actually got a new batch in. We're gonna do a uh, an alert on. So can't tell you what they are, but can't tell you yet. We'll find out. But soon they're enough. not, and they're very very fancy. <laughs> Blingy. But uh, Blingy. today, you want to tell them what they're gonna win? All right. So um, if you comment, you are entered to win, and we're gonna give away a trigger time pistol. It's a compact from Laserlight. Now, Laserlight is big into laser training. Um, they also, whoops, um, just throw this anywhere. Yeah. Um, so it, you, you pull the trigger, the trigger actually works, and it shoots a laser out the front. <laughs> actually and, works. <laughs> well, it's not just a blue gun, right? right? This isn't a blue, just a blue gun. You pull the trigger, it works. It's great for dry fire practice. Also, they have all these cool targets that you can find on their website or on Amazon, Amazon or whatever. Yeah. Um, so 
I have one in my office, and when you hear me on the phone going click, 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 click. That's what it is. That's what it well, is. Well, and every once in a while, they, uh, your kids will come over, and that's what they play on. Yes. And that's a great, that's yes. a great thing about uh, kids. So I, you can it's it's simple. Train. They come in. Yeah. I make them do 1,000 dry fires before they're allowed to eat. <laughs> that's how we roll in the Gresham household. 1,000? Yeah, 1,000 dry fires. And if they flinch or mess it up, we start over. Don't ask me to dinner. <laughs> Um, so, uh, this past week, we went up to Talladega, Alabama. We were not driving race cars. We weren't. No. I'm okay with that. We were I'd, shooting guns. I like to hug the wall. <laughs> <laughs> I just stay there. Um, there's actually an incredible shooting range up there called the CMP Marksmanship Park. Part of the CMP program. You may have heard of it, Civilian Marksmanship cool. Program, where you can buy decommissioned uh, 1911s and yeah. Garands and stuff like that. I so, could not go into the gift shop because that's where you they, really the didn't pro go. Shop, I did not go. I was like, dude, you need to go buy a grand. No, I would have bought a grand, and my deficit in my budget would have yeah. <laughs> increased. Or it's all right. Yeah. So, uh, but it's it's a really cool facility, uh, massive facility, and it's all and it's all state run, state funded, or. Gov something, or, I don't know. It's how governed that works. by the state, right. something like that. The but CMP it's beautiful, program beautiful for it. uh, facility. So NASGW, uh, POMA, which is the Professional Outdoor Media Association, and SIOPA, which is the Southeast Outdoor Press Association, uh, all got together and they said, hey, we need to put on an event uh, and let's get you know companies from across the firearms industry mm -hmm. involved. Let's get people out shooting. It was for distributors, for uh, manufacturers, and for media. Uh, so it wasn't open to the public. Uh, but there's another event going on for the public next month in uh, South Carolina. No, this month. Oh, it's this month. It's like this weekend. Okay. Uh, Palmetto State Armory is yeah. putting on the gathering. So yeah. Sounds like a cult thing. It's probably not. I'm sure yeah. it'll be fine. But, anyway, um, but I'm sure it'll be fun. Back, back to the showcase. Have, yeah. Back to this. So we wanted to just talk about a bunch of different cool stuff we saw there. We took some video. And we'll, are we so, going in order on this I, I think list? So. I think we go in the order. So the first, right. actually, the very first company we hit up was Tetra Hearing. And if you guys don't know Tetra, I highly recommend you go look at their site. Um, they actually have a hearing test on their site that you can kind of take. Um, but this hearing is, is developed by audiologists. So mm -hmm. it's not only your like guy who says, hey, I'm going to go, I'm going to buy circuit boards and everything else to create this expensive right. hearing protection. They tune it and program your hearing to what you want out of it. So right. if you're only going to the range, um, you can have them do that. So it's like range max and you sh cycle through Different all settings. the settings. Um, or if you're saying, well, I'm going to go turkey hunting, I'm listening for gobbles, Yeah, they can kind of... Uh, highlight those frequencies right. and so in they, the hearing. They worked with Harold Knight, the Harold Knight, yeah. to sit there and blow on calls Legend. to capture that gobble, that that different duck putt. calls, I mean, waterfowl stuff. So yeah, pretty neat stuff. Um, very low and profile in the ear. We wore them all day, all day long. And I've got some funky things going on with my ears. He's got little baby <laughs> ear canals. But I, I found them very comfortable. Yeah. Um, but they do offer a custom option. Right. Um, but these are, so what you would go and you would buy from like an audiologist, hearing specialist mm -hmm. for like hearing aids. And they're basically you, the same you, technology. They're the same Don't technology. <laughs> but at a fraction of the cost. Yeah, hearing aids are thousands and thousands of dollars and um, I don't have, we don't have to get into the, the minutia of how this happens, right. but it was explained. But um, they were, they're very cool. So Tetra is one of the companies we saw there. We're gonna have them on the podcast and we're gonna get them on there to talk specifics, but um, I thought that was really cool. I All thought right. it was. <laughs> on to, I'm just skipping ahead here. This one, Come on, keep it you rolling. Love, you love. All right, this is a sexy beast. The DRD Tactical Kivari 338 Lapua AR-15. Wiggity what? Huh? Yes. Uh, 338 Lapua. And we shot oh, this that bad had daddy. kick really bad. It did not <laughs> kick very bad, actually. I mean, it's not a lightweight gun. They also have a big muzzle brake on the end to help control some of that recoil. Uh, now, was it really loud? It was really loud. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Really loud. But... Um, I mean, you can kind of see the slow-mo in this. 
I mean, there's regular recoil, I would say. Nothing yeah. nothing crazy. Um, and that yeah. target you were hitting, was it 413? I mean, a manual 413 on a yeah, bear for size a, for, target. For a 338, that's I mean, that's, nothing. that's easy. But I was surprised about how little recoil it had. Also, it's a takedown. Yeah. That was crazy. Takedown in, Three parts. I don't know, 60 seconds or less. Yeah. And it puts into a little case. So that's pretty cool. Also, the DRD Tactical Aptus. We have that one? Uh, we do. We okay. do. It's right here. Uh, and it was it was pretty slick, too. And it it is not a takedown. That one's not a takedown. Not a takedown. But really comfortable to shoot. Yeah. I mean, I, I enjoyed it. But And it was pretty. <laughs> so then we saw the Dark Storm Industries DS-25. This is... It's it's an AR-15 in 308, and they made, that's we say that we're not saying that incorrectly. We're saying that on purpose. Yeah. This is not an AR-10, is what they're they're saying. It's not an AR-10. Right. It's an AR-15 in 308. So it's very small frame, lightweight. So I don't think we have the capability to kind of pause it on this. But if you're looking watching this video, so right behind. Um, the ejection port, they've elongated that. So they've, they've kind of pushed that ejection port back. Like right. They've almost moved everything back, um, opened up the mag well, all that good stuff. Yeah, you can kind of see it right there. Michael was able to pause that for us. Um, but they've moved everything back. So they're kind of rethinking how they structure it. And this is a very light 308. Yeah, well, I mean, six it's and not a half your. Pounds, yeah, six like and a half pounds. On the rifle. Also on the handguard, that's their handguard. They chamfer yes. all of the cuts, all of uh, the little slots mm -hmm. of M lock and stuff like that. Um, so it's nice and smooth. It was There's real no smooth. real sharp edges. It was it was nice. So that was a that was a that was a great one. Then we went <laughs> in a different direction. We we totally went off the wall. I don't have a one. ton of experience with these high point. Um, <laughs> I <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah, we shot high points because why not? And this is a carbine. I believe this one's in 45. 45, yeah. All right, so this is a high point carbine in 45. What do you think of this? Because I didn't get a chance to shoot this, but it, it actually looked look like fun. It ran we, fine. Now, where they have the red dot yes. with the Way iron up, sights, yep. it, that was goofy because you're looking through the iron sights and the red dot. And he said you would probably take the iron sights off this gun. I think they kind of just threw it on there no. and sided it in for this event real quick. But, um, I mean, it ran um, for me. Charging handle being on the other side is problematic for a left-handed shooter. You kind of have to go over, over the top of the gun. Because you're having to pull it out and back, right? Yeah, you have to pull it out and back to run it. So that was a little bit awkward for me as a lefty. Um, and then we shot a really fun gun, the Rossi R92 <laughs> lever action. Yeah, that's fun. I mean, the lever actions are just fun. 22. Um, that's just one of those you do just you, Do you own a oh, lever action? No. What? I don't. No? That's weird. No, I don't own a lever action. you got to change that. I mean, I do. Wait, how many of them are? I want to say how many you guys. You know, with my dad. It's kind of like his both of ours. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's kind of. He lets me use it sometimes. Okay, all right. Uh, so how many of you guys watching have a lever action? I've, I've got a couple. Yeah? Yeah. They're so fun. Um, Actually, my the very first deer I ever shot with a rifle was a lever action thirty thirty. Yeah, it was a lucky one, lucky shot. <laughs> it, it was really a very was. unlucky deer. It, it was a very <laughs> that stupid doe. Like I was hunting from a uh, like a little a tree saddle kind of thing, yeah. like just sitting there, and this doe like comes running through, and looks at me and is like, "What the heck is that?" Takes off running, and I make. Some like crazy shot. You like, just threw it up. Oh yeah, nailed it. But then my buddy nailed comes it. up and says, "Why didn't you shoot the buck behind her?" Oh no, I didn't see the buck. <laughs> well, you had you were just oh. looking at the deer. Oh, there's oh, yeah. a deer there. Yeah. Oh my god, it's a deer. This, this is actually working. I'm gonna shoot a deer now. <laughs> um, what else? We sh we saw. Oh, this is a really oh, cool. Now one. this one's cool. This is the. Uh, Century Arms, and I don't know, is it Century? Is the, it's not the brand. No, it's the AP5. It's the AP5. Okay, so Century and Canik. So this is their Turkish-made MP5. Or oh, you see the Magpul furniture on it? Oh, yeah, so you can trick it out um, with different furniture. 
and it comes ready to put some sort of brace on it, but um, you have to put the brace on it. But uh, this was up there for me. This yeah, was a this really one fun was one. a real high bar. This one kind of this was towards the end of our day, and you introduced me to the MP5 slap. Oh yeah, yeah. I oh. mean. I, you know, I've, I haven't shot, I haven't had a lot of experience. Charging the handle way up front. Way up front. So and roll just, it. You just slap it. And, and slap it over. I mean, I should it. understand this from uh, Warzone and Call of Duty. I, I should know this. That's a video game, right? Yeah. Okay. Come on. <laughs> I shoot real guns. Um, I do too. They're real guns. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. So Sky Pistols, the DVG-1. Um, and that's a new one. That's a new that's one. The DVG. A new one. So this is their striker fired gun. Yeah. Right? What does DVG stand for? Dang very good. <laughs> Dang. That's very good. <laughs> okay. I'll let it slide. <laughs> Do you know? No. I just wanted to see if you did. <laughs> We're gonna go with dang very good unless they uh, call us and tell us otherwise. Pretty sure that's what it means. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, American tactical tactical. Omni Max Translucent. Probably the coolest looking gun. It's definitely the prettiest. The coolest looking gun that we shot all day. So you basically have... This is this. Um, the video on it is just pretty cool. Polymer as the receiver. Right. And I, I was... At first, I was kind of thinking that they um, 3D printed these, but it's not a 3D printing. It's injection printing. molded. It's injection molded. And it's translucent. So that's it, that one's red, but it is sort of a see-through red. And good luck getting them because as soon as they, they were saying, as soon as they post them up, they're gone. Yeah. I think, I honestly, while we were in the booth there, this is a true story. There was a lady talking to them, and they said she's from a local gun store, and she was trying to buy that gun from them. To sell her guns. Really, I didn't hear I can, that. Can I That's buy? Funny. Can I buy that gun? You right mean now. like place an order? No, no. Like no, I, want I got cash. <laughs> um, don't worry, well, I'm, a, I'm an well, FFL well, holder. Well, yeah. here's the deal. Sereno, he bought one while he was there. He did buy one. <laughs> he bought a, a Taylor, um, like single action Navy 44, yeah. like eight like some, inch, some ridiculous he revolver. Didn't have. Yeah, he was. A, he's collecting. He's and like, he, I will give you cash. You and mail he that to my dealer. Cash right um, there. That's okay for us to say, right? It's totally legal. They're sending it to a dealer. He's going to process it. He's got to go through. Um, paperwork. All right. So the other one was the American okay. Tactical Mill Sport 410. This one was cool. What's that, you ask? This I one, thought you said 410, Ryan. <laughs> oh yes, he did. An AR 410. <laughs> yes. It, like MSRP on this, I believe, is like 799. But it was super cool. And it ran. Like, I don't understand. Well, and it is a, uh, you can, it's an adjustable gas block. Adjustable and it's gas actually block. nice how they have the adjustable gas block because you can adjust it without having to put a screw in or right. anything like that. Toolless. It's toolless. Yeah. So you can adjust it. But I was wondering in my, because turkey season is coming up, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. is would it run the TSS loads? And they said they, they said, well, it's an adjustable gas block, and those rounds are hotter, so yeah, absolutely it would. Sure it will. Uh, it ran fine for us, and I think they also had their own 410 loads that they were doing some cool yes, stuff with, Yes, they were roll too. crimped. Yes. Yeah. Um, so, of those, Ooh. which one was your favorite? Uh, I know yours is probably the AP5. Like, that's probably yours. And that's a that's solid... But I think for me, and kind of an eye-opening uh, experience, because uh, a buddy of ours, Jonathan Harling, handles the marketing PR for Tetra. And they were uncomfortable on me at the end of the day. On one of your ears? On one of my ears. Yeah. Um, and I had to get, I'd, I went ahead and I did the custom, the molds where they put it in your ear and, you know, it hardens. And um, But I think that, to me, to have the, uh, the option to go, okay, I'm going to be elk hunting and, you know, deer hunting. Yeah. I want to be able to pick up those sounds in the woods and to be able to put in hearing because I never, ever, 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 ever wear hearing protection in the field. And it, 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 it shows. And you know you should. And it shows. Yeah. Because yeah. I took the hearing test and you were really high mm -hmm. and I was in the danger zone of, like, I don't pick up the gobbles that you would hear. Yeah. 
And I've noticed that in you on hunts. like tapping you on your yeah, shoulder. Like, hey, hey, wake, <laughs> wake up, <laughs> wake up. I'm right behind you. So I think those were, those were mine. So it was fun. Um, you know, we I think we probably have a few more things to talk about on that coming up. We we had some good conversations with people. So. Um, you know, let us know which one you liked best. Um, we got some people chiming in, but it was very cool. It was very fun. Um, and then we'll be back with, with more live stuff coming up. Yeah, we've got more soon. live coming up. and we got Be some, sure to enter that hey, giveaway. There are new products about to drop that you guys are going to be very so interested in. So close. Stay tuned. we got new stuff coming on that, too. Uh, guntalk.com slash win. Go enter that giveaway. Win that Walther. Later. <laughs> Thanks for watching Gun Talk Live. For more great gun content, subscribe to our YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter pages. You can always watch the Gun Talk channels on Roku, Apple TV, and Amazon. And of course, you can always find us at guntalk.com. Thanks for watching.